front leg assembly, uh, the joinery between the stretchers. I'm going to be using a floating tenon using the slot morser. But uh, if you don't have any way of doing a floating tenon, then all I would do is just a regular morser tenon joinery. Probably just three quarters of an inch, so add an inch and a half on your lengths here. Now what I need to do is when this thing folds up like this, I want it to sit nice and flat. So what I need to do is put a little bit of a build it right here. And right now I haven't cut it to length, but I'm going to put uh, another floating tenon in here to hold it. And then once it's all glued up and dry, I'll cut it to length. Alright, so I got the chair back together here temporarily. Uh, I drilled some holes here and down here for screws and also 3-8 holes for some plugs. Now as far as the step goes, how that's going to work is I'm going to cut a slot in the bottom of this, half the thickness of the rod so it will sit on the rod. Then I'll take my other piece for the bottom of the step and cut the other slot half the thickness of the rod and you'll be able to sandwich that in there like that. Alright, so I've run into another little snag here. Uh, the initial plan called for a bevel right here that matches this bevel right there. And I was thinking that that would lock the two legs together, but it actually can just slide out quite easily. So I squared off the backside and put a little piece in there like that so now that that side's square now I gotta do the same thing on this side but I don't want to see it here so I'm gonna route a slot midway and I'll make it straight there so maybe about three inches right about there All right, so I finally get this top step all figured out. Uh, got my wedge glued up in here, which mates into this flat in the rail. And that fits nice and snug, keeps the two legs from spreading apart. I also made this MDF template here to attach the top step to the bottom. So now when you lift this step up, the bottom step goes with it. So I'll just go ahead and transfer that template to a piece of walnut, cut it out in a bandsaw, and shape it with a sander. Alright, so there's the bones of the chair pretty well all built. It, uh, Currently works, if you lift up the top step, it will all fold together, which is nice. But there's a few minor things that still have to be done. Uh, there's gonna be an arc across the top up here. 
These here have to be cut. I'm thinking kind of rounded like this. Uh, the steps themselves have to be taken off, cleaned up, sanded, and then uh, glued and screwed together in place. All the framework has to be sanded, and I could probably say we'd be ready for finish at that point. So most of the assembly is all done now. Uh, before I go any further, I think what I'll do is give everything a final sanding and then I'll put a couple coats of uh, spray on polyurethane. Alright, so I ended up putting uh, three coats of the spray on polyurethane and sanded with like a 320 grade in between. And I'm pretty happy how it turned out. So let me know what you guys think and please like, comment, and subscribe.